Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. So in my last vlog, I said I had a couple of exciting announcements to make. Um, the first one has something to do with where I am at the moment. I am in my new bedroom because we have a new house. Um, we were offered a council property and it has a downstairs bathroom and it has a downstairs bedroom for Avery. So uh, yeah, we have the keys. Um, as you can probably tell behind me, it is all kind of plaster. So we've still got quite a bit of stuff to do in this house before it's ready for us to move in. Um, we went and got some quotes on carpets today. We have our laminate flooring for downstairs. And today my job is to start painting just a whitewash all over. We'll think about decorating properly, properly later. Um, but I just want to get a whitewash on all of the walls. Um, just so it's ready for the floor to go down. I'm kind of crunch for time right now. Um, it is currently, I haven't got my watch on, I've taken it off to paint. Um, it's probably about half past 12 now. Um, Eli finished at school at 4 today, so I'm on a time crunch. Um, I've just got to try and get as much painting done as possible. Josh is at home with Avery at the moment, so yeah, I'd better get cracking. It is now Sunday, um, so it's been a little while since I spoke to you guys and honestly that is because we have been completely rushed off of our feet. So we've been really really busy in the house, um, you saw the b-roll of me getting the um, primer coat on the walls. In the two bedrooms upstairs, um, we are still painting them days and days later. It's taken us quite a while. Um, we're in a rush because we've picked our carpet and they're actually getting fitted on Wednesday. And even though, you know, we still have Monday, Tuesday, um, there's other things I need to be getting on with. Um, tomorrow I need to start making phone calls to companies and whatnot. I can see a little bit of paint on my lens. I'm not sure if that's showing up. I hope it's not. Um, <laughs> so um yeah it's been busy 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 we've been rushed off our feet literally we haven't stopped um yesterday we were both at the house we took the kids with us today we're trying a different um tactic because um i'm not well avery's not well um i think josh is catching what we have so he has gone up to the house this morning he is going to go and do a coat of paint and then we're going to swap and i'm going to go do the cutting in that's kind of what we're doing at the moment i'm doing all the cutting in all the tedious jobs and josh is doing the roller um yeah um i don't think i'm going to show you the house to start with i've already taken little before clips which i will show you eventually to show you what we started with um i think i'm probably going to do sort of more of a show around once it's a little bit more done once the flooring's in and whatnot um so i'm not really showing you the process of what we're doing at the moment these are all the kind of grueling jobs getting the walls done getting the floors put down um this is the first time i've ever had a council house so this is the first time i've ever gone into a house needing to do these kind of things and it is a lot of work um luckily i had actually been saving up some money for the last year or two knowing that eventually we were gonna be moving into a house where we'd need to do something to it whether that be us buying it or whether at us getting into the council sector so i knew these things were going to happen um we still need to buy a cooker i need to measure up for that today just to make sure i get the right size the one i've been looking at i've had my heart set on a range master for quite a long time um so i really want to get this one that i've seen um i mean i'd love like a, a big six burner range for uk kitchens we just don't have the space for that or i don't in mine anyway our kitchen is quite small but we do have the understairs cupboard in the kitchen which i'm gonna try and use as a pantry 
Um, there's a lot of little projects that I want to do which I'd imagine would make pretty good content so keep an eye out for those in the future but what I will say is right now I, I will film what I can but I have zero time to edit so when this video comes out I have absolutely no idea how long it would have been since I last posted and I'm really really sorry um, I will um, put an update on Instagram um, just to let you all know that it's going to be a little while and uh, yeah I'm sorry but oh, we've just got to try and get this house done. Um, we need to be out of this house um, by the 2nd of November so we have three weeks to get it um, livable. Um, I'm not kidding myself into thinking I'll get all the projects I want done done before then because we've still got this house to pack up and sort out and all of the kind of admin -y stuff that comes along with moving which is probably the most tedious part. Over the next few months there's a lot of little projects that I really want to um, take on board. There's a lot of kind of little cupboards and cubby holes in the house that I want to sort of prep so that they're decent for use because we need all the storage we can get in a small house. I will say the house is small. Um, the house is a lot smaller than what we used to. It's probably smaller than this one. Buying a house is still not overly likely especially with kind of the way everything is with the economy at the moment and you guys know Avery is getting big she's getting heavy so really this house is kind of it's come at the perfect time it's a blessing in disguise um because it has a downstairs bedroom it has a downstairs wet room now I will say and I will show you guys the before when I eventually do a bit of a tour the the wet room it's gross it's very old and I hate it it's it's really gross we are going to try and ask for permission to um, renovate it. Um, obviously still keep it as a wet room, still keep it accessible for Avery, but just make it a little less like a 70s hospital bathroom because that's kind of what it looks like at the moment. Anyway, to the point. Um, today, like I said, Josh has gone up now, so I'm going to use this time to get some stuff done here. Um, I think my to-do list for this morning is I am going to take all the pictures down and potentially the shelves down off of the walls and um, start filling holes um, because yeah that's something else that needs to be done I've got to fill all the holes we made in this house in hindsight had we have known we were going to be in this house for six months would I have put things on the walls probably not but we had no idea um that this one this was going to happen when it did we're very 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 fortunate and it's just solidified um moving to wales to be a, the best decision for us because we tried for years and years to try and get a house that would be accessible for avery and um, we were getting nowhere and we pretty much got told that we didn't have much of a chance so yeah it's all happy it's all positive it's just very 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 stressful we're on a time crunch and um yeah just not much time to film or edit i'm afraid um so yeah i am going to crack on avery is just having a chill day today she's very much favoring her pee pod at the moment which is fine by me because it means she's a bit more upright um i have ordered her new peapod i think i said that in the last video um we're still waiting for it to arrive and then the one that we have will go back to um the nhs for someone else to use um so yeah avery is fine but she's she's just not well she's not herself she's not up to doing much so yeah i'm just gonna crack on now with what i need to do i also want to start emptying the boys wardrobes because they're getting sold i will also say guys before i cut to this b-roll excuse the state of my house i know it's a mess whose house isn't a mess when they move in and yes i am still in my pajama bottoms i am wearing my scruffy painting jumper and my pajama bottoms because the jeans i've been wearing for paint are covered in dust and paint and i just don't want to get all of that over this house so my pajama bottoms are staying on until it's time to switch with Josh. So, um, yeah. Sorry about the way I look. I haven't washed my hair in over a week. I'm gross and I know it, but priorities. <laughs>
say I have finished patching up the walls. Um, I went through two different magnolia paints and neither of them were a perfect match. I don't think you can really see unless you're in certain lights, but I'll ask the letting agent when he comes over to do viewings for the house to see if it's okay. Um, so that's another job done. I've just been packing up today. Also, Eli is home from school because um, he has a sore on his face. It started off as a very little spot about two months ago and he's picked it and he's picked it and he's picked it and he's licked it and then he's picked it again. And it's gone on like this for ages and it just took a bit of a turn for the worst over the last couple of days it looks absolutely awful so i mean it was starting to heal last week it was looking so much better and then he picked it again and he woke up this morning and i looked at it and i was just like no like we can't keep doing this it's not healing so i sent a message to our doctor surgery and the doctor very quickly called me back <laughs> and said not to send him into school. It looked like in Patigo and he had to stay home until it cleared up. So Eli's gonna be at home for the rest of the week. He's on a course of antibiotics now. Um, and we've just been busy. So that's the only thing I did out of the house today was went to the doctors. I do plan on going up to the new house um, later on um, when Josh is at home with the kids because I've actually got some um, peel and stick wallpaper to try out in the boys room. Um, it's a brick effect. I want it to kind of look a little bit like industrial style. I quite like that look and I thought it'd be nice for the boys room. It's a, it gives them a bit more detail. Like we've always had plain walls because in the houses we've lived in, they've been private rented and you just don't really want to do too much to it because you know you've got to put it back to its original state when you move out. So it's nice to be able to go a little bit more fun on the walls. So I am doing wallpaper in the boys room and I just wanted their room to look cool but a little bit more kind of grown up they are getting bigger now Eli's nine Zach's 11 Marley's 13 um so I wanted it to be grown up for him but I just didn't want plain walls so yeah I'm gonna go and make a start on that later um in the new house tomorrow our carpets are being fitted in the bedrooms um so that's exciting I've also ordered some furniture for the boys and a chest of drawers for us so it's all starting to kind of take shape I've set up the utilities I made a lot of phone calls yesterday there's still a ton to do and we've got under three weeks to do it so stress levels are still very very high I am gonna aim to try and get this video up for you guys before things get too hectic but I'm not gonna lie I may not be able to get another one out for a little while. I will still film what I can, but it's the editing that takes time and it's just time I don't have at the moment. So I'm really, really sorry about that. But I will try and get this one up at least. So at least you guys know what is going on. Um, so yeah, it's just all systems go at the moment. But anyway, um, I said in my last video, I had a couple of exciting bits of news and I've only actually really told you one, which is the house. The other exciting bit of news is we got a new vehicle and I say vehicle because it's not a car, it's a van. So when Avery turned three, she became eligible for the mobility element in her um, disability benefits. And um, you can either take that money for whatever purpose you need it for, as long as it's, you know, to help with kind of getting Avery around or you can send that money straight to Motability and use that for a vehicle and we were in desperate need of a vehicle that actually fit all of our stuff in it and by all of our stuff I mean all of Avery's stuff. Um, she doesn't have a wheelchair yet but she will at some point. Her pushchair is very big and it's really hard to fold down and it just doesn't seem to fit in a normal size boot. So we decided to go for a van. So I will insert a picture of what um, kind of van we got. It is a Vauxhall Vivaro Life and it has eight seats. And what we've worked out is that if we put two seats in the back down, um, we can still seat all six of us as a full family, Marley included, and be able to put Avery's pushchair in the car without having to fold it down and still have room for extra stuff, which is amazing. Now, the only downside, and it's not necessarily a downside, um, but it, it, it kind of put me off a little bit, is it's automatic, which is a learning curve for me. 
Yay! It's also electric, which obviously is better for the environment. However, it's just, it's something new that we've not experienced oh before. God. And it's all a learning curve. We hopefully will be getting an EV charger outside of our house. Um, we wouldn't have been able to here because we don't have a driveway, but in the new house we do. So fingers crossed we can get that done and we can charge the car at home but honestly we are really really loving the van there's so much space in it Avery's really comfortable we're currently in the process of trying to source Avery a specialized car seat because that'll be the next thing she needs uh the one that we're looking at is from Lars Rehab I can't remember the name of it but it looks very um scary <laughs> no i'm lying it's not it doesn't look scary it looks like a car seat but there's a lot of extra support avery needs in it and the quote came in at just shy of four thousand pounds so we are looking into what funding there is available for um uh. that because <laughs> it's quite expensive and it's money what we don't have at the moment yes eli <laughs> um let me get you on for a minute in a minute don't touch anything don't touch anything, please. Why are you smiling? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to stop him from touching anything because Impetigo is highly contagious. So yeah, that is um, the next thing on our list of things for Avery. Um, aside from that, I think that's kind of updates complete, aside from the things that we're doing in the house, but I will kind of film more bits and bobs as I go and um when i actually get a chance to edit and upload them i will um i'm not sure if i'm gonna do like videos room by room to show you guys what i'm doing or if i'm just gonna do kind of vlog style kind of showing you what i'm doing as i go um but it's all very hectic so picking up the camera is just not always at the top of my mind but like i said hopefully i will be able to get this video up for you at least to let you know what's going on why i'm absent and um yeah missy moo is happy she was poorly she had a fever earlier in the week or earlier in the week or was it no it was over the weekend she had a fever um but she had a couple of little twitches no big seizures and it only lasted less than a day so i'm happy with that that's a lot better than how we used to experience illness wasn't it put in um but she is doing much much better now she definitely seems to be favoring being in a seat at the moment um and not on the floor which is a nice change at least i know she's kind of midline while she is in the seat at the minute she's still in the pee pod and this is um this is still the size two we're still waiting on her size three to arrive hopefully that won't be too much longer hey pudding hey um but yeah that is where I'm going to leave this video. Hopefully it's not too long because I really want to be able to get it edited up for you guys. <laughs> Again, just to let you know why I'm so absent. And um, hopefully it won't be too long before I chat with you guys again. But thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient. Your glasses are going ski with. And I will speak to you guys again soon. Bye guys.